Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. I'm back. Full frontal. <laughs> Hi Cancer, how are you feeling with this full moon in your sign with Lilith? I'm feeling amazing. I'm just very excited and I'm very optimistic. Um, and then it's the new year, but especially for us because the planets are really, really, really in our favor. So we're going to start with your 7th house of Capricorn. I'm going to do astrology just to feel the energy. I'm not going to get too complicated with it. You know, some people don't care about it. And if you're one of those people, you can go to the timestamp and jump to the reading straight up. So we have in Capricorn Mercury retrograde, which is going to be going direct pretty soon on January 18th with um, Pluto. Pluto's in, Mercury, uh, in Capricorn, sorry. Now, uh, Venus was there too, and the sun is there, obviously. Uh, Venus is in Aquarius now. So I feel like uh, this energy, it's like, this is an opportunity to speak your truth or to hear somebody's truth or to, to kind of mend a relationship because it's your seventh house of relationships, contracts, and all that stuff, like interconnectivity. But really, like, legal, legality, you know, not like Aquarius, which is, like, more like a social. So this is a time really to um, mend things. So expect people to reach out to you, uh, people that maybe you don't talk to anymore, um, or you might feel like you want to do that. So this is an opportunity to do that, to dead a situation. It's going to make it or break it anyway. You're either going to mend it or it's going to be dead, and at least you would have cleared the air, you know, and there'll be no karma with that. So that's a good thing. Now, Aquarius, Venus is in Aquarius. So uh, that's your eighth house of transformation. So I feel like a lot of you are changing your style, your look. You're suddenly wanting to um, take care of yourself. You know, you're giving yourself self-love, which is amazing. You want to put yourself out there as well. I feel like a lot of us have been like working hard on our shadow with that, you know, um, 12th house, Mars and especially with Saturn that's been in our eighth house for a minute. So now we're finally ready to just blossom. We're like a butterfly, you know, we're like, yes. I mean, that's how I feel at least. I hope you're going to feel like that pretty soon too, if you don't already. Pisces, Neptune is in Pisces. Neptune um, will go retrograde on June 30th, but that's like way back. Now, Pisces is your ninth house. Uh, you have Neptune there and Venus is coming with Neptune on January 27th. This is the time, Cancer, to lay the foundations, uh, like make your dreams real. Whatever you've been thinking about, that project, that thing you want, you know, that desire, that imagination, that dream you have, start working. Don't be afraid. Put yourself out there, okay? Because, you know, when Venus goes into Cancer, you're going to feel very at ease and it's going to be very fulfilling because you know what? Jupiter's in Aries now and... Um, that's your 10th house. So whatever you're working on right now, trust me, Jupiter is going to bless you when it enters Taurus later on in May. You know, right now it's in an air is your 10th house. So you see you have that ninth house of imagination and just like shooting your shot. And then you have the Aries energy, your 10th, uh, your 10th uh, house of like you in the world, like what you want to accomplish. What do you want for yourself? You know, where do you see yourself in like, I don't know, five years, whatever. By the time Jupiter enters Taurus, you are going to see the results, the rewards, and it's monetary, guys. It's money. Um, some of you might be able to buy that house you want, that big, 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 big vision you want, you have for your life, and it's about your legacy. You know, like right now, Aries is your, your 10th house. Jupiter's in Aries. It's about putting the foundations for your legacy, and by Jupiter uh, uh, entering Taurus on, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the... Um, when is Jupiter entering Taurus again? On oh, May 16th, you will start seeing results. You will really definitely, you won't regret it, okay? Now, uh, like I said, Taurus, you have Uranus retrograde, right? So, like I said, that's that's your 11th house. So, you're going to be seen. So, Uranus too is like working with this Jupiter and, and even Neptune. They're all three like on your side to create whatever you want to create. If you guys want to be out there in social media, whatever, you are going to get the success. You're going to get exposure, okay? And that with that comes money, right? So Gemini, your 12th house, Mars is retrograde. So I know you've been brainstorming. You just don't know which way to go. It's okay. Start with one thing. If you have a lot of things in, on your mind, just start. Everything else will just flow smoothly after. Okay, and because Mars is going direct on January 12th. 
So don't worry. If you've been feeling kind of stuck and not knowing which way to go, it's all going to clear, clear up. By January 12th, you will have a clear vision of where where you want to go, how you're going to proceed, how you're going to move, and you know where you want to put your energy into. And now with the full moon here, oh boy. Oh, our mother's home. We're home. The full moon in Cancer. It's a wolf moon, guys. It's hunger. See, you got to be hungry. Put yourself out there. Do not fear, guys. This is the time to be the goddess. Conjure that inner warrior inside of you. Okay? You deserve this. You deserve the best. Whatever you deserve, whatever you're hoping, wishing for, you can get. Yes, you have to work at it. But guess what? Saturn has seen you working for the past four years you know, because it was an Aquarius, your eighth house. If you did the work, you know, you should be already like in a state where you're like starting to feel a little bit more, less restricted, you know, a little bit more optimistic like myself. So that was that for the astrology. Yeah, guys, I still have my decoration. See my tree? It's still there. I like the vibes. I'm a Cancer. Cancer, we like vibes. We like vibes. And guys, this is especially true for Cancer Risings, you know, I'm a Cancer sun. But it doesn't, you know, it's a cancer energy, whether you're rising or whatever. We're all the signs, you know, but especially for cancer risings. Okay, so let's get into the reading. Let's get a moon card from the Moonology deck, and then we'll get some more. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I woke up today, waxed, did a lot of stuff, you know, um, changed my hair at the beginning of the year. I started feeling this energy by, like, around, like, Christmas. I was like... You know what? I've been like cooped in here. I've done so much work, you know. It's time to get out. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda had a like of a kind of an ego, like a spiritual ego thing where I'm like, they're all stupid. What's the use? I'm not going out, it's useless kind of energy. But you know, you're not gonna get anything if you stay at home, if you stay cooped up, if you make yourself small, you know, if you don't go after your dreams, you're not gonna get anything. You have to put in energy to get energy back. That's how the universe works, you know? You get what you put in. So, motivation, guys. Motivation, preparation, okay? So, let's see. Motivation, preparation for cancer. And there's also, you know, I wanted to say there's also something about a significant partner coming into your life, you know? With this Venus in your eighth house, you know, of sex and intimacy. If that's what you want, that's possible. Anything is possible right now, cancer. It's motivation, preparation, and manifestation, okay? I think that's what I'm going to call your reading. So let's see. Spirit, what do you have for cancer, please? Cancer. Guys, this is the, the January readings, but I don't like putting dates because, you know, some people watch it later. But if you are watching it today, you probably know that today is the full moon in cancer with Lilith. And Lilith doesn't play. Lilith wants what it wants, okay? So let's see. Let's see, Spirit. Okay, this is your card. Believe in the impossible. Yes, guys. Mm-hmm. Blue moon, uh, which is the blue moon, which is blue. You know, it's the blue moon. It's reminding me of like expression, self-expression. Express yourself physically. Vocalize who you are. Vocalize your thoughts, you know? It's about self-expression. Believe in the impossible. It's like Piscean energy as well. And remember, Pisces is your ninth house. Shoot high. Aim high. Shoot far. Okay. There's Neptune there, the war, the, the ruler of dreams. And Venus is going to be entering soon. This is the time, guys, okay? So believe in the impossible. Beautiful card to start with. Let's get into the energy or, oops, oracle for Cancer Spirit. Yeah, the energy is fantastic. I feel like it's my birthday or something, you know? Do you guys feel like that? Let me know below. I feel like it's my birthday. I definitely feel like I'm rebirthing here. I'm like a new person. So I'm like... It's the beginning though, you know, I think the next three months, Cancers, things are going to really be different. By Aries season, oh boy, things are going to be so different, Cancer. You won't recognize yourself, first of all, so let alone other people are going to be like, you know, but you got to put in the work, guys. You got to uh, believe in yourself. Get out of the cocoon, you know, start like cleaning that shell. Make it shine. You shine. You shine. Look at that. Dorcha value. I'm telling you guys, Taurus season, it's already started with Jupiter right now in your 10th house of Aries. When Jupiter enters your 11th house, that's success, exposure, success, being in the spotlight, contracts. Okay. 
revenue, return and invest of investment. Some of you are definitely working in, uh, in like, um, like you don't work in an office. You're work, you're, you're working on a project. You know, you're, you're not like a bureaucrat. You're not like, let's say you're alt. Okay. Here we go. You're auto entrepreneur. That's what it is. Look at this guys. If you put in the work, you believe in the impossible. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. The journey just began. It just began. I don't even know what to say. It has begun. It's now. It started. You're on a new journey, a new cycle right now. I'm telling you, it's a rebirth. Okay? And remember, guys, in um, this esoteric, and uh, for us, I mean, at least for me, the new year is really spring equinox. You know, every season. You know, and that's exactly, I think, when a Jupiter will be entering Taurus. So that's like spring. You're going to start seeing results. You're going to start seeing return and investment. And, 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 and just like, it's going to feel amazing, guys. And you, imagine your summer. Your summer is going to be, oof, lit. Amazing. Okay, now let's get into the tarot here. I got my right of weight. I busted that out again. I love the, the right of weight. I actually forget how much it's just so... I'm so connected to it, you know. It gives me like really straight up messages. The downloads just come like that. But I have so many decks. I mean, I do have to give them love too. So let's see what we have for Cancer. <laughs> cancer, please, spirit. Beautiful Cancers. Look at this. Things are <laughs> things are rapidly picking up Cancer. I'm telling you, if you felt stagnation, if you feel blockages um, of ideas that Mars and Gemini retrograde, like, I don't know where to start. What do I do? Um, just like all over the place, not one specific, specific, like um, a thing you want to learn or per, uh, uh, how do you say this? Um, perfect, you know, like, because you don't know, you're kind of confused. You know, there's so much coming out. You don't know which one. It's OK. Don't worry. January 12th, when Mars goes direct, you will know. You will know, but there's the energy is really in your favor right now. Cancer, do not miss this opportunity. Okay. Things are looking amazing. Let's get one more, one more card here. Spirit for cancer. Wait, we'll get four since for, see, it's the end of like stress. It's the end of like, it's the rebirth. It's the end of like sleepless nights. It's the end of like confusion, paranoia, um, anxiety. All this is coming to an end, Cancer. Don't worry. Just ride this wave. It's very important that you reconnect with self, right? With this full moon, that you, you, you release. Do a release ritual. It's a full moon after all, guys, right? You need to really unlock things you know you need to like let go of all this negativity the energy people even you know it's like you need to like recenter yourself and like call back your your child like imagination that neptunian energy you know and it's like believing in your dreams and whatever is keeping you like this you need to drop it you need to drop it cancer it could be some people that are just gossiping as well with this page of swords you know with this eight of wands this could be gossip okay i'm gonna put them upright but we know that these are reversed see this could be gossip stress outside influence it's just like noise shut out the noise cancer okay you have work to do you don't we don't have time for this we ain't got time we, we don't have time i don't have time Okay, I don't have time. I have time for love. I don't have time for gossip. If, if you're not bringing positive energy, um, comfort, encouragement, right? I don't want it. Again, this could be that person I'm talking to you about with Venus uh, in Aquarius, your, your, your eighth house. This is a romantic gesture. It's an invitation. It's a gift. So there's somebody coming in here. Definitely, it could be somebody younger. This could be a child coming as well. You might be pregnant or some of you are pregnant or you will be pregnant. So if you don't want to get pregnant, mm -mm -mm, watch out. Watch yourself. Okay, Cancer. So yes, that's beautiful energy, guys. Beautiful, beautiful energy. It's a new beginning starting for Cancer. Let's get into the um, spell cards and then we'll get into my new Lenormand. You will have to bear with me though because um, it's in French, first of all. So I'm going to have to, first of all, it's new. It's a new deck. 
and I have to read it from the booklet and it's in French. It's for my French channel. So I'm gonna read it as I go along. So be patient with me. <laughs> Let's see from the spell cards. What do we have for Cancer, please, Spirit? Ooh, that's a lot. Just a couple of cards, please. Spirit for Cancer. Harmony. You got to be in a state of harmony, balance. See, that's why you need to shut out this noise. You have work to do. So anything that is not harmonious, right? Lighthearted, loving, encouraging, just like a positive. Make sure you cut that out. You need to cut that out, Cancer. And especially with, uh, you know, Pluto in your seventh house. And Mercury retrograde. So it also anything you know that's been keeping you up, like an argument you had with somebody, like I said during the um, astrological preview, whatever argument, this is a time to really solve this. If you've been feeling regret or feeling guilt about a relationship that ended, call the person up and just whew, clear the energy, okay? Because you don't, you don't want to. You have so much uh, and you have so much good energy that's coming to you that you want to clear the energy and make space for that good energy. So you need to get rid of all the negative energy. Okay, some of you do have somebody you need to apologize to. Okay, nine of swords with the uh, page of uh, cups. Somebody needs to apologize to you. Maybe you both need to apologize. But this could be something about like yeah, a fallout that happened. Have the talk. Have the talk. You, you know. So harmony. As I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. Yeah, we all we want is love here. We don't need drama. We don't want negative energy. We don't want uncertainty. Those kind of energies, you don't want it because there's a victory for you, Cancer. You see that? I shall celebrate. I shall rise. I will let victory make me rise. Victory and money. I told you guys, whatever you put your energy in right now. Ooh, by the time uh, Jupiter enters Taurus, I'm telling you, by in, in May, just before your birthday, it's going to be amazing. Amazing. Okay. Now, finally, we're going to get a little Norman. Take care of yourself, Cancer. All right, it's time to take care of yourself. It's very important today, Cancer, very, very important that you do a ritual for yourself. Either a release ritual or even just a self-care ritual. Do your hair, do your nails, take a bath, uh, light a candle. It could be just as simple as that. Or do some, you know, scribing, you know, write a little bit, um, affirmations. You know, there's so many things you can do as a ritual. Gate moon gazing. All you have to do is look at the moon, right? It's a wolf moon if you want to howl at the moon, if you can do that. You know, I would love to do that, but people are going to be like, what's wrong with her? I don't want to alarm the neighbors. And um, so I'm like, oh, I really want to howl though. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go uh, take a bath and I'm going to go underwater and I'm going to scream. And I'm going to take a bath with my son, too. I mean, he's seven, so we're not going to be naked. I feel like that's a little bit inappropriate. So we it's a little joke we have. We, we wear our bathing suits. So I'm looking forward to that, too, tonight with him. And then here we have the Epiphany. I don't know if you guys have that in the States. I know they have it also in Italy. It's called La Befana. Here's Epiphany. Epiphany. It's when the three Maggies, right, went to uh, visit Jesus, you know. The whole Jesus scene with the baby, Mary and Jesus, uh, Mary and, um, the, what's his name? Joseph. And, um, they went there to visit. So we eat this like fill dough kind of like pastry, which is amazing with a almond filling. It's so from Japani. Okay. It's so good. So we're eating that. That's three cards too many. We're eating that this weekend. Normally it's on the sixth, but when it falls on a working day, it's the, the following day where, you know, People are not working, so it's going to be Sunday. All right. Ooh, see? The anchor. 35, 8, expansion. Really similar to this um, 8 of Wands here. So the anchor. Let's read it. What? 35. Okay. Some of you feel stuck. Don't worry, the energy is going to shift, but you got you have to co-create with spirit, okay? So it says, um, stable, sure, tranquil, tranquility of the mind, 
See, it incites you to persevere and it helps you attain your objectives. Oh my goodness. What did I say? This is the whole reading, guys. This is the most important card in the, in the, in the Lenormand. This is about hope. Okay. It's about stability and security, conviction, believing, faith. And you see, there are two fishes which are which symbolize abundance. I'm telling you, there's abundance coming to you, huh? There's abundance coming to you. It guarantees abundance and, and protection. They said there are two fishes. Where are they? Yeah. See the two fishes here? What are the, we know that the fishes are good luck and, and, and uh, prosperity. Pisces energy, Neptune's there. Like I said, Venus is coming there. So whatever you put your energy in, you are guaranteed the prosperity. You are guaranteed uh, success, financial success, and just success all around. Prosperity is success. Abundance. Let's, let, okay, let's call it that. Abundance. You are guaranteed abundance, Cancer. Wow. Believe in the impossible. I love you guys. Go check out the, the, the full moon pick a card I did yesterday. It's very interesting, especially for those of you that are still struggling with letting go. Uh, that's really, really, really going to help you a lot. And guys, if you like this reading, if it helps you in, in any way, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.